There is something within us that tells us all we will ever know about ourselves. There is a destiny that tells us where we will be born, where we will live, and where we will die. My people were drawn to mountains. They came when the country was young, and they settled in the upland country of Virginia that is still misted with a haze of blue which gives those mountains their name. Here we are on the front porch of my old home, Mike, and how good to be here. You know, there's an art to uh, porch sitting and rules. Um, you don't rush things. Two, like two old guys like me and you, you and me, would uh, say, um, might rain. The other would say, yeah, rain, clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Might have a truck drive by. Yeah. Well, when something like that used to go by, my father would always say, always say, they're moving hell, and there goes the first load. <laughs> <laughs> It's a quiet place, it's a restful place, it's a sacred place, and uh, it's a place where the occasional puppy shows up. Here, puppy! <laughs> Hello, baby! <laughs> oh, you're a pretty dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it with everybody, I've got to say hello to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that was gorgeous. When I always, I think about the Waltons a lot of times when I write, when I do Oh, Elizabeth, <laughs> I long to see you free. I long to touch you. I long to feel you home. Don't know if I can Earl, you rascal, happy birthday. I love you. The thing I can most be appreciative 
to Earl Hamner for is that as an actor, as a performer, and as a human being, he's one of the greatest human beings I've ever known. He afforded me the opportunity to this day to be a performer of note at a level that I have yet to attain in any other production, and I've been in this business for 45 years. Nobody has ever written another script that gave me the kind of opportunities and colors and integrity and level of work that I'm proud of and never ashamed to say to tell anybody when they ask me, what's the best thing you ever did? I, the Waltons and Earl Hamner was responsible for all of that. Thank you and good night. Earl, I want to wish you a very happy birthday and I want to thank you so much for changing my life both personally and professionally. I love you. Thank you for creating the character of Mary Ellen in the image of your sister and in the image of what I was able to bring to it. It was an absolute honor and privilege to get to be a part of your family for all these years. Darling, I heard that you were going to have a nice birthday. Well, Natasha would say, have bad birthday, but not this Natasha. This Natasha says, happy birthday, Earl. Uncle Earl, you put together something that was pretty magical. And it was magical in how it's lasted this long, but it was also magical in the real relationships, in the real second family that it built. And I am deeply appreciative for that. Earl, it was a pleasure to be part of this. I love you so much. Uh, you live in my heart forever. Till the day I die, you live right here. I love you so much, Earl. Earl, being a part of your life, your experience, what a joy that is indescribable. Thank you and your family for being the you that you are. I love you. Earl, I love you. You know I do. You gave me the opportunity of a lifetime that has followed me for a lifetime. It's been an incredible journey, not only as an actress, but as a human being, and the richness of the love of the people that I worked with and the show that I was on, and the fans, the people who have been, become our friends all these years, that have stayed with us, it's, it's priceless. And I thank you with all my heart. Dear Earl, thank you so much for all that you've done through the years. You're one of the best writers we've ever had. You and Miss Nell are right there at the top. Thank you very much. Um, may God bless and keep you always. Thank you. Uncle Earl, what can I say? Oh, there, there aren't enough thank yous. There aren't enough I love yous to express my, my deep, deep sense of gratitude to you for making me who I am. Not only loving and creating Aaron, but also always loving Mary Beth. And you supporting me with my book was so incredible. I'll never get over it and I'll never get over you. I love you, I love you, and I stand in absolute gratitude and thanks to you forever. Earl, I, I just, we've talked about this in the past, but I just want to say to you that you have affected millions of lives. I have people coming up to me with tears in my eyes, telling me that our show taught them how to be a mother, taught them how to be a father, a sister, a brother, um, a friend. And um, this is your legacy that you've given. And I'm humbled and honored and grateful to you, Earl, for what you've given me and what you've given to the world. I went to Bangladesh and they knew all about you <laughs> and they knew all about the show. I couldn't believe it. Um, so God bless you. I love you and thank you from my heart. Well, uh, Earl, I, I wish you were here. Uh, it's been an honor to, uh, uh, to be part of this, uh, this film, uh, which is dedicated to you. Uh, I want to remind you of, uh, of a funny thing that happened. Uh, uh, I never met you before I did Boone Walton on the conflict in the Moonshiner, 
And shortly after that, I say shortly after that, I don't know how long it was, there was a, a reunion up, uh, at, the, uh, at the hotel, uh, the uh, Holiday Inn in uh, Studio City. Um, and uh, I thought, well, now this is going to be a really nice event, so I'm going to put on my three-piece Brooks Brothers suit and my fine shirt and tie and a, and a pocket handkerchief and get my hair done and, uh, and I'll go out there and, uh, and get to meet uh, all of the people that I work with and get to meet Earl Hamner. So I walked in and you were standing by the door. And I walked up to you and I said, hello Earl. And you turned around and looked at me and I knew immediately that you didn't know who the hell you were talking to. And I said, Morgan Woodward Earl. And he said, Morgan Woodward? He said, you've grown young. <laughs> but anyway, we both got a laugh out, out of that. But uh, it was a real pleasure to meet you that night. and. Uh, and I just think you did just a wonderful, wonderful job with, with that series. Just a sensational, sensational job. And uh, I, I know you're a bit older than I am, and uh, uh, I hope you live forever. So uh, good night, Earl. I'm, I'm, I'm visualizing you're saying good night, Morgan. Bye-bye. Earl. You're just a growing boy. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> I hope I see you on your birthday. <laughs> well, Earl, in closing, I want to say to you, with your enormous talent, no one does it better. The only thing I really resent is I wasn't in the Waltons, Falcon Crest, Twilight. Thank God. I was in Palm Springs weekend. But the way I look at it, sweetheart, you owe me. Hey, Earl. Hope you're doing well. I love you more than words can say. And I have to say that no one in, in I've been doing this now for 50 some years, 55, 56 years. And there is not another single person anywhere uh, with us or no longer with us who has contributed more to my life uh, as an artist, as an actor, who's given me greater opportunities um, to, to provide an actor with a role like John Boy uh, is a greater gift uh, than you could possibly know. And it's a gift that I still appreciate to this day and that I always will. So I can never thank you enough, but I thank you now. <laughs>